Hola amigos, bienvenidos a Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons y Feliz Cinco de Mayo. I'm now going to play for you a mariachi song called Harabe Tapatio. So now that you've heard a little bit of it, let's learn how to play it. Cool, so I'm excited to do this lesson because even though it's a mariachi tune, it's in the time signature of 6-8. And for those of you keeping score at home, that means that it's the same time signature as a jig, like an Irish jig, something like Kesh jig. So, the kind of the cool thing is for all you Irish fiddler peoples out there, you could take this tune and play it at an Irish session with jigs and kind of fascinate and impress your friends. Uh, maybe they won't be impressed. Maybe they'll be pissed off. I don't know. But anyhow, enough about sports. Let's learn how to play this tune. What else do you need to know? It's in G major, so it would be good for you to warm up with a G major scale. But there'll be a few notes which fall outside of that, like C sharp, all right, which we'll get into, and then A low one, which is A sharp. So without further ado, let's get into the A part, first quarter. I'll play the whole first quarter with the pickup. It's a two note, eighth note pickup. Broken down. So that's a three, two, three, one, low, one, one, then D, three, two, three, okay. One more time with flow. So that, I think it's worth pausing to practice that. Here's why. Because that rhythm is going to come back over and over again. Da, 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 da. In fact, that's a good exercise on itself. Uh, just to say that da 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 da. You don't even need to just do the melody. You just say da 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 da. I feel like there should be some sentence like, I had burgers and fries for dinner. Except I didn't really think this through. I'm just making this up on the spot. Anyway, so really practice that first quarter. Let's move on to the second quarter, slowly. More broken down. So that's going to start on G2, and we're kind of just going to go up the scale. G2, 3, D, 1, 2, 3, A, 1, low, 2, open. Cool. So now we will do the third quarter. And I want you to notice how it's got kind of a similar shape to the first quarter, but all pretty much different notes. Broken down further. Say the note names A low two one low two A D high three A D two one two open. Cool, let's do the fourth quarter. More broken down.
I apologize I did it, it two different ways, but it's kind of good to hear both ways. First way you could use the fourth finger if you know it, or the pinky. A three, 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 four, three, low two, one, open D three. If you do know the fourth finger, I think that's a pretty good way. But if you don't, fine, just use the open E instead. A three, 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 open E, and so on. All right, cool, folks. Let's do the entire A part with this play along track. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you found that play along track useful, head on over to fiddlehead.com where this lesson is and I have the full play along track for you to play along with with some sheet music as well. And if you already are a subscriber, thank you for your support. All right, let's do the first quarter of the B part. And if you made it through that entire A part, just know that the B part's a bit easier. So you know, you're almost home pretty much. Okay, here we go. Broken down. A, 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 D1, D1, D3, D2. All right, let's do the second quarter of the B part. Broken down. Again, we're still using the same rhythm. Da 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 da. I love it. I love it. All right, um, the third quarter is exactly the same as the first. I'll just review it for you. Cool, let's do the fourth quarter of the B part. Broken down. I'll do the entire B part slowly. All right, and that's so that's the first the, the A part and the B part of the tune and I hope this isn't disappointing to you all. It may be exciting, this next bit of thing news I'm going to tell you, that there's actually many more parts to this tune, but I'm kind of lazy. I didn't want to do all that. I just wanted to, and, and it's not just laziness though. I wanted to present this tune in more of the way I present fiddle tunes, like an A and a B part, and partly with the intention that I really do think it would be fun if, if you guys like do end up playing jigs and playing in sessions to just whip this out you know and i'll just demonstrate again how easily like it could work like like say say we're doing the b part of harabe tapatio tobins Kerfunken. 
whatever. You know, you can play with it and come up with your own combinations. I don't know if those are the best jigs to pair with it. They just came to mind because I teach them a lot. But anyway, I think you have a lot of fun with this. And one thing I really like doing and, and like trying to do with you guys is to open up your musical mind and let you explore a little bit. And there's just, music is completely unbounded. And for better or for worse, I'm kind of a jack of all trades, master of none. I just love all kinds of music. And I want to try to share that with you guys, you know, that you can really explore the entire world of music with this instrument. Okay, so I hope that was fun. And uh, you know what I'm going to say next? Go fiddle with it. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video clocking. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.